YouTube. So today I plan on making a weld cart. So uh, got everything just hanging out down here and on there. So uh, we're going to try and get together. something to hold them both so a little bit sick and tired of uh, there's the wheels and everything everywhere so we're uh, sick and tired of having uh, having them take up all the room on my bench or floor so we shall so there we go now I will be making it out of I think it was 25 mil, 25 by two or three or something. Dang line. <coughs> so um, hopefully that's strong enough. Should be. Got some rebar there for the handle. So we'll uh, put it together and I'll strengthen it up if need be. But uh, she should be apples. Don't forget your safety. Unless I need some better ones than this. Bottom shelf. Oh, there is. 
Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get some of the screw of the point them up. Weld them up. And uh, there we go. Now I need uh, something. There's a gas on the sit here.
Okay, <clears throat> here we go. So, so far, she's on wheels. I've got the two levels. I might actually do a third level, but anyway, we'll see how we go. But um, turn you around. There's the uh, little outer square. So I've got to, I've got to actually probably start clamping stuff down. I think. So everything's a learning exercise. But there's the top, and there is the bottom. So I've got the two, two halves. This is where the uh, the MIG will go, and that is where the bottles will go. So I'll turn it over. I've just welded a really bad welds. I'm going to blame the uh, the galvanising of the. Um, of these or this crappy steel but anyway it should hold we'll paint it up grind it up whatever happy days it should work so I will more than likely have to put another either another piece back to back with this or another piece on the back there to so the, uh, the wood stays and obviously it doesn't bend through but Getting there guys, so here we go. Okay, so I have tacked all this together, put in the, uh, the top shelf. Um, no, this is perfect or exact, but the whole idea is just to get out and make, make stuff that will uh, make your life easier. So uh, there we go, so I've tacked it all up, so now I'm just going to go through and uh, finish it off. Uh, keep uh, damaging the uh, tip on the mid though, or uh, I'll be able to finish it. So I don't have another one. Anyway, so here we go.
for now. That's it. I still need to uh, I still need to put a handle up here, put some hooks and bits and pieces on to stop the um, stop the bottles falling over. But at this point, I've got other things I've got to get onto. So uh, this is at a spot. Um, I'm a bit of a tall bugger, so coming up the rebar across the top for a handle, um, chains around for the bottles, the arc T will fit under here. The uh, mig will be fine down there, so I could actually get another bench, something I can uh, I can use to uh, weld small projects on probably. So I'll put a, maybe a metal top on. There we go. All right, guys. So this is it. At the moment, she's uh, she's all loaded up. I've got uh, I've got the two uh, two cylinders on. Still need to rat, you know weld the chain on. I've literally just got everything piled up on the, at the moment. Got the chain ready there. Um, room for the rods. We've got uh, yeah. I've got the uh, I've just literally got anything hanging off anything that can hold it at the moment. Uh, I still want to put another another level on top so I've got uh, I'll make another couple of these chuck them on top and then uh, that'll give us a bit of a uh, bit of extra storage and space and everything as well so um, yeah she came out as good as can be expected really um, it was my first time TIG welding so um, oh, I learnt a lot Anyway, on that guys, love your work and get in the shed. <laughs>